Hi everyone. So today I want to talk about the transitive property. So the transitive property states that if you have um, a number A, and let's say it's equal to a number B or it's equal in transitive property, unlike the other properties that we worked on, this B could actually be an expression. All right, so it can be an expression. So if you have A equals B and you have B equals C, then you can infer or you can conclude that A is going to equal C, right? So transitive property makes you, lets you make this conclusion that A can eventually equal C because A equals B and then B equals C and then A equals C. So it's basically like you're going through a like train, right? All right, so because one destination will lead you to the other destination. All right, so let me put this into context for you. So let's say that I have a number x. I'm going to call my a x. And now this b, now this is what I meant by an expression. Now b is equal to, let's say I have, all right, um, it could be anything. Let's do 3 plus 2b. So I'm going to choose something a little bit more complex today. All right. So B is equal to all of this. All right, now I know that you see a B here and I know that you see a B here, but this B, all right, this tends to happen in a lot of math rules. This B is actually representative of this whole thing. And this B down here is actually like a totally, not, a totally other B altogether. Okay, so this B is an expression. Let me write this up here. This B is an expression. Of course, not all the time, sometimes, all right? And this ex B expression is equal to 3 plus 2B. And this B down here is a totally new B altogether. All right, so this is a X equals to 3 plus 2B. Now, I'll come back down here. Now, B, this same value that we have here, the same expression, 3 plus 2B, this is equal to 7, all right? 7 is the C, all right? x is equal to a, b is equal to the expression 3 plus 2b, b is equal to 3 plus 2b, and c is equal to 7. By the transitive property, I can conclude that a is equal to c because I have an a value which is equal to the same b value and that b value is equal to this c value here. So in conclusion, by the transitive property, all right, just writing it all very mathematical neat. Whoops. By transitive property, we have, all right, this is the imply signal. Uh, I can say that x is equal to 7. All right, because again, it's creating that train. Um, x is equal to 3 plus 2b. 3 plus 2b is equal to 7. So you can conclude in conclusion by transitive property. That's why I wrote that down there. X is equal to 7. All right. I hope this video has helped you learn some of the transitive property. I hope it helped you understand it as well. And thank you so much for watching. And I wish you all the best in your math life. Thank you.